Hello guys and welcome and in today's video I will show you how to connect Elementor to Google Sheets so all the data that you submitted with Elementor forms will be transferred to Google Sheets. Plugins for WP. WordPress premium plugins and themes for an affordable price. Alright, so many other tutorials will show you how to use Zapier as the middleman or the connector and that's true because they have the option to use webhooks which is a way for apps to communicate with each other and transfer data. But webhooks are part of the Zapier premium plan that will cost you money. So we're not going to use it. I would like to show you how to connect between the two apps for free. So we will use Make, which is a Zapier alternative and the webhooks are in the free version. Okay, so let's start. Here we have an Elementor form, a simple one with a name, email and message. And we would like to transfer the data to Google Sheets. So we'll we already have a Google Sheet uh, open up over here and I called it Make Elementor Google Sheets just as example and let's start by creating the table headers and I would like to match the table headers with the forms label. So we'll start from cell A1 and we'll call it name, email and message. Now I purposely write message that way to show you that it doesn't have to exactly match the form label. Uh, you can, but it doesn't have to exactly match it. Once we have the Elementor form and Google Sheets ready, let's move back to the Elementor form and here we'll enter the actions after submit and we'll add uh, the webhook option and another tab was added, we'll expand it and here we'll need to paste the webhook. In order to do that, we'll go into our make account uh, that we created for free. And from here, we'll need to click on Add New Scenario, which you can find under the Scenarios tab. Here, we will choose a trigger and we'll go with Custom Webhook, just like so. So we'll click on it, the second option, and it will generate the hook for us. Once we click on this button, we'll give it a name, maybe something like Elementor to Google Sheets or any other description that will help you remember what the hook is for. And once we did, we'll click on the purple button to save it. Then it will generate the hook for us. We'll click on copy to clipboard and we'll go back to our element of forms and we'll paste it here inside the web field, just like so, and we will save it. Now make will automatically look for data uh, that was submitted to this hook. As you can see the spinning red uh, icon over here showing that he couldn't find any data yet. Uh, so let's trigger it. We'll visit the page with the element of form and we will submit uh, the form once to make sure it actually delivers the data. So I'm just going to fill the form and submit it. Doesn't really matter what I'm filling it with because it's just an example. And then I will go back to make and I can see that I have the green status indicating that the data was received. So let's click on next and now I can decide what to do with this data. So I would like to transfer it into Google Sheets. So I will choose uh, the action to be Google Sheets over here. But if you can't find it, you can always look for it uh, using this search bar. And then you can find it over here. As you can see, you have many other options. And I would like to create a new row in this example, although you can choose any other action. So in order to create a new row, I will need to connect make with Gmail and I will give the uh, authorization to do so. Choose the desired account and allow it or and authorize it to communicate between the two apps. Once you did, you will be able to see all the Google Sheets spreadsheets you have currently on this Gmail account and you can choose it from here. Um, I already created that Google Sheets, as I told you, it's called Make Elemental to Google Sheets and I can find it over here. So I'll click on it. There is only one sheet in this spreadsheet, so I will uh, choose this one. And now it will pull all the table headers I created a couple minutes ago. As you remember, name, email and message MSG. And we can see them over there and we'll need to match it with the data that was sent to Elemental form. So let's click on this first field and all this red data are placeholders sent by Elementor form. 
So the name will match the name, the email will be the email, and the message or MSG will be the message. Then I click on OK, and now I can run it once to make sure it's working before I'm publishing it. So again, it's looking for data. We will resubmit Elementor form to make sure it's working. Again, I can fill it up with whatever, just for uh, the example. Once I submitted it, I will go to Google Sheets and I can see that the data was immediately transferred to Google Sheets, which is excellent. So this scenario is working and I can publish it by toggle this at one, just like so. And I can see it inside the scenarios screen and it's on. So again, just to make sure it's on and working as expected, we'll refresh the form and we'll resubmit it with different data. Once submitted, go back to Google Sheets and make sure the new data was submitted and appears in Google Sheets. Alright guys, so thank you very much for watching this video. I hope you enjoy and it helped you. Please let me know if you have any questions regarding the process. Please also like the video, share it with your friends and subscribe to our YouTube channel because there are more great videos on the way. I will see you all in the next video.